Hello, my name is Jorge Torres and today I'm going to do a quick explanation of this prototype. Um, the prototype is a demonstration of my ability to create a final state machine and uh, I will explain the behaviors of this final state machine and how to achieve them. So first of all, um, the first behavior uh, well, the character we're going to concentrate on is Oak, which is that guard that we just saw in the start. Now it's going around, and uh, he has uh, several behaviors, um, which include being idle, um, pursuing the player, attacking the player, running away from the player, and sleeping. So the way I've approached this is using a singleton, in which I have. Um, I have uh, declared and installed the, um, the, each of these checkpoints, uh, which are the ones that the guard will go around while patrolling, as well as this um, small square that um, is the one that the, um, the NPC will run away to if uh, he gets scared. So there's uh, different conditions for the character to <clears throat> to change behavior. So the first one will be if I, if the player is at a certain distance between well just at a certain distance from him, he will start running towards the player um, in in the pursuit. If uh, the distance is short enough for the attack. He will go back to idle and then approach the closest checkpoint and then resume patrolling. So right now he's moving towards the nearest checkpoint and then he will continue, continue his patrol in the same direction as initially uh, the patrol was. So if we sneak uh, up behind him and we are at a certain distance from him, Why is it not doing it now? There you go. Um, so he will get scared and run away to that little square on the floor there, which is a safe space, and then he'll continue to um, patrol. He will go to his closest um, to the closest checkpoint and then continue to patrol as normally. Just there you go. See, so yeah, that's another demonstration of how he runs away. And if we say are in the way of him again and and stop us. So that's just a quick rundown of how this prototype works and the uh, how you uh, the different tactics and and uh, programming techniques that I've used to achieve this. I hope it was clear and thank you for listening.